What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm Chloe and today we're going to be talking about Life Path 9. So let's just get started. 9 is the last number in the number sequence. And if you look at the number 9, you're going to be looking back at all of the numbers. So in the symbolism of number 9, you could say that it's sentimental towards the past. It looks just like the number six, except it's upside down. Or should I say right side up? Six representing a pregnant woman. The nine may be representing a pregnant mind. Smart, creative. Nine's planetary ruler is Mars. And in astrology, according to your birth chart, Mars shows how much energy you possess, how you take action towards getting what you want. Mars in astrology can also show you, depending on what sign and house placement, of course, can show you how you act at work, how you work, your work ethic. Mars ultimately shows your anger, aggression, your sexuality, your drive, and your energy. Mars shows you how you cope with your anger and how you express your aggression. Mars governs independence and the masculine nature of things. You ever heard of women are from Venus, men are from Mars? There's actually a book about that and it's a great book if you have relationship problems. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. So I'm just gonna put a picture of the book up here so you guys can see it. And if you're interested, you can read it. Mars influences the success drive and the ability to carry things through to completion. Mars represents willpower, inner and outer strength as well. Nines are old souls. This is probably not their first rodeo. Astrologists believe that they've lived on God's green earth for many lifetimes, which is why they have so much wisdom inherent within them when they come onto this earth. They're humanitarians, they're generous and they're humble. They have a deep sense of affection for people and are always willing to help them. They are affected by and sensitive to the concerns of the world and they empathize with those in need. Nines love to connect with people and they love to share their dreams and hear the dreams of others. Their ability to connect with people is unmatched. They also have an infectious sense of humor and are usually able to maintain optimism in the darkest of times. They're the ones to lift you up when you need it most. Nines tend to not be biased when making decisions and they won't choose sides if it has to do with two people that they love. Like, they won't pick between loved ones. Nines believe in equal rights. They're true egalitarians. Nines follow what is true for them and not the herd also. It's because nines dream to better society. That's what they're here for. That's what they're here to do. Nines are willing to surrender themselves for the betterment of society. They strive to give their very best and they leave no stone unturned to achieve this big dream that they have for the world. When they see people struggling and see these sad realities of life, all they wanna do is help. And the problems that nines see and or face only bring them motivation to do something for mankind. They work with persistence and determination. Not being satisfied with what they have accomplished only leads them to accomplish greater things. The nine life path is one of insight, generosity, emotion, and compassion awareness, interpretation, diversity, and strength. Nine's influence makes you versatile and unusual, eccentric and creative. 
you aren't like everyone else. Nines are not like everyone else. They're very different. They stand out. They're unique. They're very interesting people with a lot of ideas, a lot of ideas for the betterment of society. They're also very creative and intuitive. In my research, I have found that nines are healers. They have this um, healing energy about them. Nines can heal people's energetic field and not even know that that's what they're doing under the surface. Nines have the ability to be all things to all people. They are adaptable in a wide variety of environments and, and situations. Nines also have this like parent-like energy about them. Nines are very empathic and sympathetic to people's pain, to pain of the world in general. They're often the champion for the underdogs, for those who get bullied or for the mis misfits, for people who just don't seem to feel like they fit in. It's, it's for multiple reasons, but one reason being that nines often feel like misfits themselves. They often feel like outcasts themselves. Nines are also champions at fake it till you make it. Most people assume that, that they are in charge and that they know exactly what it is that they're doing, but a lot of the times nines don't know what it is that they're doing and they don't feel that way at all on the inside. They're natural leaders, um, teachers, and healers. They can make a successful business person or entrepreneur. They're good leaders for many reasons, but the main reason is because they don't just lead with ego and they don't just lead for the sake of making money. They lead for the betterment of humankind, the betterment of society. They're willing to give their time, their energy, and their money to bring peace and harmony and love into this world. Nines have the ability to learn and implement the things that they've learned. However, when they're struggling, they can become moody, they can become fearful, arrogant, even culpable. They can also become like, um, what's the word? Solitary, like the ninth card and the tarot, which is the hermit. When nines are struggling and they, they feel these negative emotions, it can really distract them from their purpose in life. Um, it can distract them from their goals. Therefore, it is vital for nines to remain balanced so that they don't give up on their goals. Nines want to live in a utopian society and often they don't want to accept the imperfections of this world. Vocations that require self-sacrifice and or have a clear impact are common amongst nines. If you pursue money for its own sake, you're doomed, especially after giving up your larger dreams. You'll likely find yourself empty-handed, is what I mean. The most satisfying and successful road for a nine life path is giving sharing and sacrificing for a larger goal without expecting anything in return. One major lesson for you is letting go of material possessions or materialism. The inherent lesson being that holding on to anything too tightly causes suffering. Your greatest chance at success is to tie your personal fortunes to an endeavor that makes the world a better place for others self-sacrificing. Your life rests on the axiom of the more you give, the more you get. The bigger the reward. The sky is the limit for you when it comes to money and vocations, but just as long as what you're doing involves a larger cause for humanity. Nines tend to receive money unexpectedly also or through mysterious ways. If you're a nine and you have gotten money from mysterious ways or unexpected ways, leave me a comment about that 
story that you have down below. I would love to hear it. If you're still watching, why don't you just go ahead and drop me a blue heart and let me know that you're still here. Bottom line is, nines are not meant to focus solely on money. Your motto is, it's fulfilled by helping others. Helping and serving others. Making the world a better place for others, for humanity. In love, you are very lovable. I just wanna say that. You're a very lovable person. You're very lovable people. You're also very romantic and passionate. To have the most successful relationships, nines need to make sure they keep a certain amount of detachment. It's good that nines don't get too attached to one person, to anything, really. At times, in your romantic relationships, you tend to be more focused. Actually, in general, you tend to be more focused on your dreams. And you may even find more interest in your friendships than your spouse. When you are in harmony with your true nature, and we'll talk more about why nines can sometimes get unbalanced or sometimes out of alignment with themselves. When you are in harmony with your true nature, you can become moody, aloof, withdrawn, timid, uncertain, ungrateful. You can put blame on the world or other people for your troubles as well. But more often than not, you have a gift for examining life at a distance, objectively. You will be better able to love and understand yourself and all of life by openly facing your challenges as they come, as they are. You can be a hopeless romantic as well and are likely to idolize your partners. You may even go through many relationships. You may have lots of relationships that did not last very long, finding yourself in another one. It's because you can be naive in relationships inexperienced. You have a high need for freedom, so you're not going to work well in a relationship with a partner who is controlling. You guys can seem hard to get, but at the same time, you're so, you're very naive in love. It's likely that relationships have been very difficult for you throughout your lifetime, but don't fear. Because as you age, it's one of those things that get better over time. You will experience in this lifetime all of the numbers. Nine can be quite demanding because it requires you to work on all of the lessons of the other numbers. One being independence, knowing yourself, leading your own life. Two being relating to other people, cooperating with people, careful attention to detail and developing intuition. Three being communicating, friendship, beauty, and happiness. Four being breakthroughs and discipline and structure. Dealing with limitations. Knowing that one's work must be something that one loves. Building structure from nothing. Five, freedom gain experience by learned mistakes, travel, coping with sudden developments, six, responsibility, living in freedom and living responsibly, seven, wisdom, spirituality, knowledge, and inner development, eight, satisfaction, and the use of power, using powers of authority and manifestation through balance, to reclaim personal power. Nine, the ending of a cycle, completion, following your feelings to free will. You've gotta work through all the numbers energies and don't think too hard on this. Um, if you have the energy and want to do research on the numbers, go at it, go for it, do it. 
but it's not necessary necessarily like you're gonna learn all of this no matter what so it's like nothing that has to be forced if that makes sense I hope that makes sense but you just gotta work through all the other numbers energies so that you can be the best giver possible nine is the number of giving now, most importantly, what we've all been waiting for, the lessons of a life path nine. Materialistic desire may hinder your progress towards making a sustainable change for the future of mankind. Through giving to the world, you will find much satisfaction. Tolerance. Develop a greater tolerance for others. You must learn to accept diversity. The least you can do is allow them to be who they are without trying to change them. You at times can be frustrated with those who don't live up to your ideals, but your disappointment is actually due to your own intolerance. We only have to tolerate that which we do not like. Acceptance is key. You must stop judging yourself and others. And I know it's very hard because like, okay, I have a Virgo Mars, so I relate to nine energy. I nine is my balance number in numerology so it's like my go-to if i'm ever feeling flustered like i have to be this way and everything will work out and it's very hard i will say nine is a very hard number to um you know hold up to sometimes um nines are very righteous people they want what's best for everyone and i'd say that nines are very fair people and the world is not um and a lot of people aren't and it can be very hard to tolerate but you know you don't have to you are not obligated obviously to tolerate anyone or anything that you do not like one thing is you need to learn how to treat people where they're at and not where they could be not where you want them to be and that also includes yourself. Become tolerant and compassionate to yourself and to others. We as individuals are all on our own journey. And while you may be able to see or understand someone else's mistakes or issues, they may not be ready to listen or hear it. Don't try to fix it for them or preach to them unless they ask for advice. Try to become an advisor. Become a go-to person for when they are ready. You're here, a part of your mission in life, purpose in life, you're here to help raise others up. Um, you're not here to fix anyone, but to raise them up. Turn your focus towards those who serve you the most, not the ones who drain you. Your path is all about letting go. Your biggest lesson in this lifetime is forgiveness, letting go, completing things, completing cycles, finalizing things, continuously forgiving and letting go, releasing all that no longer serves you and your highest good. You're on a very emotional path. Nine enables you to live life full of love, accomplishments, and personal satisfaction but only after you have accepted that feelings are what you have came onto this earth to learn about and discover, to express and understand a very emotional path. For nines, partings are full of sorrow. They're very frightening for you, but more often than not, you find in retrospect that Ending was the best thing for everyone concerned. Ending relationships, ending jobs, ending whatever it is. Endings, in retrospect, are usually the best thing that could have happened. Although endings may not have to occur if you develop that tolerance that I was just talking about earlier. Another lesson for you, you can switch from being calm and collected in one moment and heated up and fired, agitated, irritated, aggravated in the next. What is triggering you is the fact that you may not be fully in the moment, that you haven't forgiven those who have 
wronged you in the past, and that causes you to be triggered. You're temperamental. You need to work on your temperamental nature. That energy does not serve you. You want to be able to walk around more calm. The calmer you are, the calmer your environment is. Become self-aware of who you are and how you affect others. Most importantly, how you affect yourself. You need to release bitterness, the past, wrongdoings, manipulation, impatience, and defensiveness. These are all the things that can come up for you due to overgiving. You can drain yourself from overgiving. So when this happens, like the hermit card at the beginning of the video that I was telling you about, take a step back. Take some time out for yourself. Close yourself off. Accept that everything is what it is and nothing is inherently good or bad. It just is. It just is what it is. By developing this mindset in, in not such a rigid way, ask yourself, Say to yourself, this situation, it sucks. But is there something better that's going to come out of it? Possibly. Maybe. Be careful not to develop a victim mindset. Make sure that you don't succumb to your pain. Make sure that you don't be conquered by your pain. Nine can be the number of the victim, the poor me the underdog, the outcast. If someone has done you wrong, what if it was a gift? What if behind the scenes, God, source, um, the universe, whatever you wanna call it, your angels have something better in store for you? What if behind the scenes it helped you? Nine is a number of transformation. And that is what you're here to do. You're here to transform. How you treat yourself is how others will treat you. So respect yourself, respect your well-being, respect your wisdom, respect all that you have to offer, and others will do the same. You're here to learn to develop integrity. A lot of nines that I know have had a crappy um, childhood environment, a crappy upbringing, parents, and Family enmeshment can be another lesson that nines are here to learn from. Pull yourself away from family dealings. A lot of times, nines either feel responsible for their family or have a lot of resentment towards them. It likely won't feel very natural for a nine to leave the nest. They take care of everyone, but need to learn how to ask for help when they need it. They need to learn how to recognize when they need help and then ask. Nines could be drowning in the ocean and still waving at everybody in the boat saying, I'm fine. Not literally, but you get what I'm saying. That's nine. They handle a lot of their problems on their own. And, it, and although that can be a good thing, it can be one of the reasons why they are so mature. But sometimes you need help and you shouldn't feel afraid to speak up and ask. Nines often feel unloved or abandoned by their parents, by their mom or their dad or both their parents or their grandparents or whoever raised them. It can be very difficult for them to let go of the past. Maybe you were born into a family that made you somehow believe that you had to fix everything. Nine is here to cut ties to their past and make a new path for their future. Maybe you told your family, Maybe you've been thinking about telling your family, or maybe you should tell your family, hey, this is my life. You don't own me. I want to live my own life. Sorry, mom, sorry, dad, sorry, pops, whoever. I'm not here to carry on with a family business, or I'm not here to do what you want me to do, or here to be who you want me to be. Like, I don't wanna go to school for what you want me to go to school for. I don't wanna do what you did. I want to live my own life. Nine is the ending. Come back again, you might be a life path one. Another lesson for a life path nine is boundaries. Um, it's likely that life path nines aren't taught boundaries and they don't really have boundaries. 
They don't know if it's someone else's boundaries or theirs. To be aligned, you need to create boundaries. There is a strong need to fill yourself up before you can give to the world. Before you can be everything and more for someone else. Before you can give without draining yourself. When you know what it is that you want to do, then go do that creativity, whatever it may be. And when you're filled up, only then will you be able to radiate your wisdom, your creativity, your intuition for humanity. You need to develop an understanding of the self. Like the Hermit card, you need to spend a lot of time with yourself. Meditate. Forgiving, back to that. If you could forgive and let go, can you imagine how much lighter you would feel? And what you could do with that energy that you spent holding yourself back, pinning yourself down because you couldn't forgive someone or something? You feel so much lighter if you just let it go. And if you can't, if you can't forgive another, then forgive yourself for not being able to forgive right now. Forgive yourself for feeling like you have been taken advantage of misunderstood or drained in some way. When you forgive, you create more space for something else. Spend time out in nature, meditate, go for a walk. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you have animals. If you don't, get one. You guys love animals and they're so, animals are so healing to have, like they really are. Um, but if you have an animal, take it for a walk. Go get out in nature, go do something for yourself. Make art, rest sleep all day and night try again the next day by calming yourself you're allowing a better understanding of the situation you'll have more answers if you aren't being pulled down by the physical world on earth by forgiving others you take your power back the most beautiful thing about being a nine is you guys are like butterflies like the caterpillar it's just like crawling around, I don't really know what to do because they don't really got parents like that. They're just like, hmm, this is green, this is cute, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat that. And then next thing you know, they're like, they're burnt out from it. They're like, oh, what, is, what is this? I don't even know what to do with myself anymore. And then they go into their cocoon and they stay there for a while. And then when they come out, they flourish, they thrive. They're the most beautiful being of all. That's you guys, the butterfly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please share your experience down in the comments. I would love to hear them. And if you're still with me, if you finish this whole video, leave a red heart down below. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe because I will be making more content for you guys.